Hello friends, today we are going to learn about the example related to bending stress for given simply supported beam loaded with UDL as well as the central point load. Now given that a simply supported beam having cross section as 230 by 450 mm, it means that our rectangular cross section having the width B is equal to 230 mm and the depth D is equal to 450 mm. Now next point is given as length which is 5 meter. So simply supported span having the length as a 5 meter. And it is loaded with 25 kN per meter UDL over entire span. It means our UDL value is 25 kN per meter. Also 80 kN point load at the center of the span. It means the central point load as a 80 kN. So we have to find out the maximum bending stress as well as the stress at 130 mm from the bottom of the beam. So from bottom of the beam our distance is given as 130 mm as shown in the figure. Now for y is equal to 130 mm we have to find out the distance from the neutral axis as a Na. So the distance from the neutral axis which is equal to total CG distance as a D by 2 which is 450 by 2 as a 225 mm. Hence from bottom 130 mm it means that it is from the neutral axis at 225 minus 130 as a 95 mm. So we have to find out the stress at 130 mm from the bottom as a 95 mm from the neutral axis. Hence for this given cross section of the beam and loaded as shown in the figure maximum moment which is equal to for UDL it is WL square by 8 hence 25 into 5 square divided by 8 for the moment due to the UDL and for point load it is WL by 4 so 85 by 4 for the central point load hence the value for the maximum moment is equal to 178.125 in terms of kilonewton meter so for given loaded condition we have maximum moment as 178.125 kilonewton meter now going ahead for the cross section of the beam our moment of inertia with respect to xx axis which is equal to bd cube by 12. Hence the b value is 230, d value is 450 mm. So 230 into 450 cube divided by 12 as a constant value which is equal to 1.75 into 10 raised to 9 in terms of mm raised to 4. So our moment of inertia is Ixx which is equal to 1.75 10 raised to 9 and y which is the extreme fiber distance from the neutral axis hence 450 divided by 2 which is equal to 225 mm. Now using bending stress equation Our equation for bending stress is sigma by y is equal to m divided by i. Hence, the maximum sigma at the top and bottom as a sigma max which is equal to moment divided by moment of inertia into extreme fiber distance. Now, moment is equal to 178.125 in terms of kilo newton meter. Hence, for kilo newton it is 10 raised to 3 newton and for meter it is 10 raised to 3 mm. Hence, the total value is 178.125 into 10 raised to 6 in terms of Newton into mm. Now, moment of inertia is 1.75 into 10 raised to 9 mm raised to 4 into y as a extreme fiber distance which is 225 mm from the neutral axis. So, our sigma max value is 22.90 in terms of Newton per mm square. 
Now going ahead for the bending stress diagram as if we take the reference axis as a vertical then the value at top which indicates the tension value as 22.9 and bottom as a compression and at neutral axis the value is 0. So we have to connect the bending stress diagram by straight line as drawn in the figure. So top value is sigma max which is equal to 22.9 in terms of Newton per mm square as a positive and as negative it is 22.9 Newton per mm square. So our bending stress diagram is as drawn in the figure. Now from bottom at 130 mm or from the neutral axis as a 95 mm we can calculate the data for using similar triangle rule as for triangle at 225 mm it is 22.9 hence for 95 mm the value for the stress is so we can calculate the stress value from similar triangle rule or from the equation so let us take the equation value as at y is equal to 95 mm the value sigma at 95 and sigma 95 which is equal to now moment divided by i is as it is Hence, 178.125 into 10 raised to 6 in terms of Newton into mm and 1.75 into 10 raised to 9 in terms of mm raised to 4 as a i and for y the value is 95 mm. Hence, our value is 9.67 in terms of Newton per mm square. So, in bending stress diagram at 95 mm from the neutral axis our bending stress is 9.67. 67 in terms of Newton per mm square. Now we have asked find out the arc length of the bending. It means we have to use the equation from the bending stress as a arc length which is capital E divided by R which is equal to moment divided by moment of inertia as a m by i now moment is equal to 178.125 into 10 raised to 6 in terms of Newton into mm and moment of inertia is a 1.75 into 10 raised to 9 in terms of mm raised to 4. Now for modulus of elasticity let us assume capital E value as Two into ten raised to two newton per mm square, which is two hundred newton per mm square. So our value for the radius of curvature or arc length, capital R, which is equal to one nine six four point nine in terms of mm. So we can calculate the arc length or sigma maximum or stress at any level of the given beam using the bending stress equation. Thank you.